Hi, Glue Pants. Hey, it is Alexandria. And my handsome dad. Oh, thank you. Linwood here. Um, today we're going to be doing a style on Zam, which you guys can see. This hair is in need of being taken down and redone. It's a little dry. Um, and this video is going to be partnered with Shea Moisture. It's not a sponsored video, but they did send us the line of the coconut hibiscus to go ahead and try out. And there are a couple things in this line that we haven't tried, so we're going to go ahead and utilize that today. So her hair is in need of cleansing, but we're only halfway through the week, so I'm going to be using the uh, coconut hibiscus co-wash and um, so we're going to be going ahead and using this as well as a couple of the styling products to help infuse a bit more moisture in her hair. So I'll go ahead and get this taken down. We're going to do a pretty simple ponytail style for your little ones because she's not really in the mood to get her hair done today. Dad, I heard that. What? You didn't hear that at all. Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to take this down, we'll get her co-wash, and then we'll pop back up in front of the camera. Three. We're going to be using some bobos today, or knockers, or whatever you call these. We're using them. Yeah. Stop making me look yeah. cray cray. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go get this weed fixed. How dare you? Let's go, girl. So people frequently ask how I shampoo Zan's hair. This is one of the ways that we do it. It's just over the sink with a rolled up towel under her neck. It makes it a little bit easier for little people who cooperate. So you're welcome. But we're literally just rinsing, massaging this co-wash into the scalp and hair and just kind of finger detangling through the hair some while we go. From there, I'll rinse with a cooler temperature of water and then we'll move on with the rest of the process. Now I'm going to be using the Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. I honestly don't know why they put hold on here because this ain't holding nothing. Um, but it is a nice product for um, helping to detangle things like that. So we're going to go ahead and mist that through the hair. And then from there, I will go ahead and get her hair detangled and all that. Anne's hair is pretty tangle prone, so I'm going to be using a wet brush. The nice thing about the bristles on these brushes is they're incredibly flexible. Um, now they do have some of these that are even better for tender headed people where the back is more flexible and those look more zigzaggy. So if you're really tender headed, that's the way to go. Um, but yeah, this is actually, it pulls a lot less even than a Denman brush, which you guys know how much I love the Denman paddle brushes. So good to know. From there, I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the ends. If you have someone who's tender headed, you always wanna begin at the ends of the hair and then just gradually work your way up the shaft of the hair. Never start from up here and work your way down. Always start from the bottom and work your way up. And that way, it's less painful for the person who's getting their weave brushed. Mm, it's not a weave. It's not a weave, Dad. By the way, all of Zan's hair is fake. No, it's not. It's real. <laughs> real. Out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead That's and go mind. through this all throughout the rest of her head. Alrighty, so we went ahead and detangled her hair. This is how much shedding we received, which it's been a few days since she last had her hair cleansed. Um, so that's pretty typical. She's not balding, obviously. Um, I so. still have a lot of hair in my head and it's not fake. My dad just said that to freak you out. It's a weave. Okay, so. I heard that. It's not a weave. I'm going to go ahead and get into the ponytail portion of the style. So Zan, let me have you tilt your head forward. And we're going to part from this front corner here and we're just gonna bring it all the way along to the back corner of her head so if I were to take that lift your head real quick we are thank you we're just above this left eye here and we're gonna go all the way back to this corner of the nape back here All right, so now that we've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and part about, I'd say halfway through, right about where the crown is, and we're gonna go ahead and take it to the top of Zan's ear. So, we go ahead and part this off like that, and push that out of the way. Hold still, Alexander. To about the top of the ear. So you guys can see from the top of the ear there, to about the crown of the head, okay? And we're gonna clip off 
this bottom corner. Like so. So they hit down for me. Now what we're gonna do is work with this front quadrant here. Are your fingernails are busted. Oh! How dare you? You're gonna get a bad, bad baby woman. From here, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use a bit of the curling style milk. This is just gonna give some added moisture. Zan's hair is very prone to dryness, so we're just going to use a bit of that on each of these sections. That's why you have a tiny beard. Alright, so we've parted off a very small section like this here. You guys can see that. And we're just going to go ahead and continue with braiding that right on through. Now if you don't know how to cornrow, I do have a tutorial for that and I'll put it up in the top right corner as well. But you're just basically doing a cornrow right along here. We're going to do a total of four cornrows in this style and then the rest of it is literally all ponytails. Alright, so once we've braided that section up, I'm going to actually go ahead and take this entire section here and we're going to brush it up with a nylon bristle brush like this. So we're just going to go ahead and take that section and brush it right on up. If you can hear the washing machine, sorry. Then from there we're going to use a little bit of the Frizz Free Curl Mousse. It doesn't have a strong hold, but um, it is nice for like when you're doing stuff like this because a lot of times you have to go back and smooth edges daily. So just something to keep in mind. Then to just give a little bit of added smoothness, I'm going to take a baby wave brush, like this here. It just helps to lay that hair down a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and add that braid right on into the ponytail, like so. And we'll just use a hair elastic to secure it in place. Alright, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do another braid that borders right along this other side. And we're going to go ahead and part from the crown again to the top of the other ear. So, let me turn you around here, Zan. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, let's see how the camera pick it up best. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the part line from over here, and we're just gonna bring it up at an angle to the other side. Now, I'm probably gonna bring it actually a little bit higher then the last one, that way it gives me more of a ponytail I can put up to the top of the head and show a little bit more focal interest if that makes any sense. If you guys can see there, this is that section that we just parted out. Now I'm just going to clean up that part line just a smidge and then we are good to go there. Alright, so now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and follow up with another braid on this portion of the head here. Tilt down. All right, so here we just repeated the same thing, another braid right along the side of the other one, nothing major, and we're just gonna do another ponytail on the other side, up towards the top of the head. Okay, so when we get back to this back corner, we're gonna do the same thing, but now instead of braiding downward, I'm gonna go ahead and braid upward like so. Ooh. Now just so you know, if you're not a great braider, you can also do this in flat twists and um, it gives the same visual effect. I just like braiding on Zan because it holds a little bit better, especially since her coil pattern is not as tight. Um, it's one of those things where her curl pattern tightens up 
as it dries. So you kind of have to watch for that, but a lot of times smaller twists don't hold as well on her hair as chunkier twists do. My dad is the smartest man I know. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Too bad you only know like four people. Okay, so once again, we're putting this up in a ponytail after we finish that braid, and then we'll just continue throughout the process with the rest of this hair. So um, to me, honestly, this whole design is pretty simple. It's not gonna be overly complex. We're literally just creating another braid parallel to the last one we did, going up the back of the head. And then we're gonna feed that into the fourth ponytail. So we've got four quadrants here, and then we're gonna get into the next portion of the steps. All right, you guys, so now that I've finished all those ponytails, I'm gonna go ahead and start clipping these off. And basically, based off the thickness of the ponytails, I'm gonna decide how many twists I wanna do. And really, based on your baby's hair and all that, you can decide how many you wanna do. So for this back ponytail, since it's not super thick, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. We're gonna do it into two twists, and we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. This is just a standard two-strand twisting uh, portion, but if you have any questions on how to do that, I do have a video for that as well which I'll try to link in the top right corner. All right, so here you guys can just really see me going through and twisting out these sections. It's not anything major along here, but as I finish, I'm just putting clear bobos on the ends of the hair. I don't know what you guys call these. Some people call them bobos, some call them knockers, some call them hairballs. I don't know what to call these. Whatever you call them, leave it down in the comment box down below. And I'm just gonna continue this throughout these ponytails. By the way, if you'd like to see more tutorials and behind the scenes stuff, make sure to check out our Instagram, at getglamfam on Instagram. Uh, because we're cool like that. And there's Zelina. Okay, she's gone. Okay, so none of these products really have a hard hold to them, so I'm gonna be putting a little bit of the Extreme Gel around the edges, and that way I can hold a little bit more securely. So we're literally just taking a little bit of product, placing it around the edges, and then we'll brush it down. Uh, this just kind of helps to keep those uh, as people love to call them baby hers, but edges, whatever you want to call them, uh, down and in place. And then we're just going to put the Bobo Naka hairball things across the top of the hair as well. And really from there, it's pretty much finished. This isn't an overly complex type style. So this is the finished look, and there you go. All right, you guys, so as you can see, this is the finished look. It's pretty cute, really simple. Not too, too intricate, but you guys can see how easy it was to achieve. Uh, like I said, if you don't know how to do braids, you can do the two-strand twists. Zan, what do you think of your style? It's beautiful, perfect, nice, and I know that my dad is the fastest braider I know. <laughs> True story. Okay, so um, if you like this video, make sure to do what? To stay glam. And um, click the thumbs up button if you want to subscribe. Indeed. And make sure you push the bell notification so you know when all of our videos post. I love you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye, Glam Fam. See you next time.